Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are seated, can we get up on our feet? What we are about to pray for is significant. And it is important. Hallelujah. The name of God is exalted. Above every name. It's only you. Let's lift up our hands and worship and exalt the name of Jesus. The Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee in the heavens, on earth, and under the earth shall bow down. So we want to exalt the name of Jesus over the land of Uganda. Only you, Jesus. Yeah, only you, Jesus. Yeah. It's only you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's only you, Jesus. going to trust God for the nation of Uganda. We thank God that he has given us a unique institution called Uganda Christian University. An institution that is named by the name of Christ. And we don't take that for granted. Because we know that the name of Jesus is above every name. Hallelujah. Now the Bible tells us, brethren, in the book of Micah chapter 4, from verse 1, that in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it and many nations shall come and say, come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths universities are hubs for policies that govern nations we want to trust God for our nation Uganda but even much more that our purpose as a university will come to pass that the voice of God will be heard in the mountain of influence, in the mountains of leadership, in the mountains of politics and education, that the voice of God that comes from this very mountain shall be heard, that the name of Christ shall be exalted. Hallelujah. I want you to just lift your voice. On behalf of this nation, the Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And we know that it is possible. And so let us just raise our voices and trust God for the nation of Uganda. Lord God of heaven, we exalt your holy name and we enthrone you, Lord. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. King of glory, when you re redeemed Israel from the slavery in Egypt, you called them to be kings and priests in the earth, that other nations will know you because of them. My God, we thank you that you've given us a blessed nation of Uganda. And Father, we are known for you. Even our motto is for God and my country. Father, right now, we want to believe for this nation, King of glory, that Father, because of your presence in our midst as a nation that is known by the name of God, Lord, my God and my Savior, there will be a distinction. There will be a difference, my God. Many evils are named among us as a nation. Many evils are named in our leadership. Many evils are named in our systems, of oh God. But we want to trust you, Lord, that there is nothing you cannot do. King of glory, when Peter was in the prison, you sent your angel and delivered him from captivity. Right now, even as the people of God raise their voices, we want to raise our voice, King of glory, on behalf of this nation. And we want to pray and trust you, Lord, my God. 
that your hand that delivers, your hand that redeems, your hand that restores, will deliver our nation in the name of Jesus, my God. May we see a dawn of a new day. May we see a dawn of a new era, an era of your presence, an era of your leadership, an era of your power, an era of your intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory, may you walk across this land, O oh God, and stir up your people, Lord, to be reverent to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, my God, King of glory, the word has told us that in the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be exalted above every other mountain and peoples shall spring to it that they will come and learn the ways of God. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you've raised this institution for the right time, in the right season, for the right cause, the cause of your kingdom, Lord. Even as we pray and wait on you, Lord, the Bible tells us that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We want to trust that you've raised us for this purpose that you will raise your voice, that your voice will be heard in our nation, that your voice will be heard in our parliament, that your voice will be heard in the education system, that your voice will be heard in the forces of Uganda, in the name of Jesus, King of glory, O God. Father, we want to thank you, Lord, that the blessedness of this nation is dependent upon you, Lord. Father, we want to pray that, yes, indeed, you will have mercy wherever we turn to other gods, we have seen leaders go to mountains and seek counsel from demons and spirits. Lord, we want to condemn that act. We want to say that it is not good. Lord, it is not righteous. And we want to turn to you, Lord. We want to turn to you for mercy, Lord. Lord, we want to pray that you will save us from such leadership, that you raise leadership that honors your name. You will raise leadership that acknowledges your power. You will raise leadership that acknowledges your truth, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, we pray right now, my God, even as we just had elections, oh God, we want to trust you, Lord, for our resources, for our development, King of glory, oh God. Father, we've trusted in our strength enough. Father, we've relied on people enough. We want to entrust you with this nation. We want to entrust the development and progress of this nation into your hands, oh God. Father, when David, who was the king of Israel, acknowledged your saving power, you gave him rest all around the nation of Israel, oh God. And Lord, we want to entrust in you. We want to entrust to you all the affairs of this country, all the affairs of this nation, oh Lord God. And we want to exalt you as Lord. We want to exalt you as one who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or even imagine. Right now, I just want to request each one of you, we are going to take our position as children of God and in the authority that God has given us. We are going to pray against every force of evil that wants to turn us back. There are forces of Islam. There are forces of idolatry. We've seen this in the recent news where some of our leaders got to consult from them. We want to stand against such forces of corruption. We know God can do something. The Bible says that those who trust in the Lord they shall never be shaken. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to stand against the forces that contradict with your will, that contradict with your truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to stand against forces that proclaim demons as God. My God, in the name of Jesus, we want to refuse God. We want to refuse such influence. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, why God, we pray against every forces of darkness that support corruption. In the name of Jesus, we are not we are not corrupt because you are God are righteous. Lord, we pray against every forces that support immorality. In the name of Jesus, every forces that stand for idolatry. In the name of Jesus, we want to refuse God. We want to decree and declare that as for us, we are for the Lord. This nation belongs to the Lord. Our resources belong to the Lord. The people of Uganda belong to the Lord. Our officers belong to the Lord. We all belong to the Lord. Thank you, King of Glory, because you are doing it. Your hand is at work. You who started a good work in this nation will bring it to accomplishment. Well, thank you, Lord, because you are at work. You are doing great and mighty things. We bless you and we thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want us 
in this uh, minute that we have to just proclaim the promises of God over this nation. Hallelujah. The Bible says that when the Lord sends his word, it can't go back to him void. And so we want to trust that the spirit of God who is present in our midst is at work. And as these words go forth, they are having impact. Hallelujah. Psalms 91. Just say after me, because we dwell in the sacred place of the Most High as Uganda, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We say of the Lord, He is our refuge, our fortress, our God, in whom we trust. Surely, He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover us with his feathers under his wings. We trust. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night for all the arrow that flies by day. All the evil that walks in darkness, all the destruction that wastes at noonday, a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but in the name of Jesus, it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we see the reward of the wicked, because we have met the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us. Our children, our leaders, our resources, in the name of Jesus, no plague shall come near us. For God will charge his angels over us to keep us in all our ways. They will bear us up in their hands. We shall tread under our feet the lion, the lion of corruption, the lion of immorality, the lion of Islam, the lion of idolatry. Because we have set his love upon him, he will deliver us he will set us on high because we have known his name. As we call upon him, he will surely answer us. Clap your hands to the Lord.